Well, hello, hello, my little face puppies. And how are you today? I cannot tell you how my heart was so warmed by seeing those beautiful kids protesting and making a stand. It was so beautiful. I have pre predicted this, as you may know, for a long time. I knew it, this movement was going to start in Florida and it never, I just couldn't shake that feeling. I knew it was going to be good. Of course, my heart breaks for the people that lost their loved ones. But, you know, this is sometimes sadly what it takes to bring a change. I want to show you um, Miss Emma Gonzalez, the young woman that stood up, I believe she's 17. She stood up in front of not only the nation, but the world. I mean, it's, it, and I can't say what that must have felt like for her. And what a brave young woman. And the young people that have stood with her and partnered with her on this movement were so exciting. I am broadcasting from beautiful Hawaii. I need to get some insight into the next videos I'm going to do. And as you can see, my voice is healing a little bit. We're going to look at Ms. Emma Gonzalez's numerology. It gives us insight into this young woman who has already stood out and and been so amazing to us. We will be looking at Pythagorean numerology and how it, it has stood up through the ages. And um, I, as well as some other astrologers, have started to uh, look at these numbers in relation to charts and tarot cards. We will be using mainly the tarot cards in looking at these things. If you have a deck of cards, please use them. They're a wonderful pictorial. They've been developed through the ages, starting since before Egypt. They have come down to us. And um, these numbers also bear true in astrological charts. Completely different world, worlds, by the way. Astrology really is not an intuitive art. It's all math. And it's interesting how they come together. A book that was first shown to me over 20 years ago is Numerology and, Divine, and the Divine Triangle. And it blew my mind. I, I've probably worn two or three copies out and given the rest away. It is done, done by Faith Jovain and Dusty Bunker. And they're just amazing the way they, there's for every, um, every number, there's a card up, up to 72 and sometimes 78 associated with that number. And these ladies do have your number. So if you learn this, you can do your name and understand your relationships with other people. I want to ask you, what were you doing at your, in your senior year of high school? Were you thinking about a term paper? What you're going to do on the weekend? Um, did you want to um, have a farm? and raise kids or did you want to go to school and uh, be an astronaut? <laughs> There's all kinds of dreams a young person can have and this is a beautiful time for these young people. What were you doing? Were you thinking about a date? Were you thinking about uh, getting a new car? What were the, the thoughts on your mind? They were probably along those lines. So I bring you Miss Emma Gonzalez.
and let's look at this, this young woman. I believe she's 17. She's a true millennial. Um, and, and she and her young friends are the leaders of the, of the future and they bring us such hope. And of course adults are heartbroken that for some reason we failed them and we failed to help them make a change. So I do believe the death of those children, Sandy Hook and um, Las Vegas, the, in a way the blood is on our hands until we make a change. Let us look at the way we come about the um, divination of her name. And we're going to refer back to the Pythagorean uh, chart quite often. So here's, here's the name. And later on, do your name. Come back and follow the chart and uh, come and see. And just work with it. If you don't do it, you won't get it. And um, as easy as it is, it can show a lot. Looking at her name, you want to, if you write down, do this name along with me and then do your name. We have uh, each, each letter corresponds to a number. You're going to see, uh, like for instance, one is A, J, S. You're going to make up little anagrams that go along with the um, little groupings. Two is B. K T. I don't know why, but to, that to me this is B L B L T like a sandwich. This is a club C L U. I'm just hoping your our camera gets the whole picture. Um, next we have D M V four. News is N E W. Fox is F O X. How about seven is G P Y to me that's gypsy. Next we have headquarters in my mind H Q Z. And then this to me this is I R S I R S. And truly <laughs> if this doesn't get you the I R S will so it's a, at the very end there's I R S. Always waiting for you. So these are our um, numbers and to and to look at Emma's name, we have um, E, it's a 5, 5, M, 4, M, 4, A is 1. And then I want you later on to come back and do uh, Gonzales. And you're going to come, you know, you'll, by then you're going to get a good idea of what the, how you uh, match up the letters. Like Gonzales is G O 6, so you have 7, 6, 5, and so it goes. So you, like for Emma, you have 5, 4, 4, 1. Now, they, they, well, maybe have a calculator later out now. You're going to have to pause this. I come back. I will write it down on a piece of paper. Um, so you're going to see um, 5441. This is Emma Gonzalez. G7 O N5 C8 1 A. 3L 5 and 8. When you add these out, you're going to come out with 57, 12, and 3. You, uh, at first, you'll, you'll want to uh, negate the 57 and just look at the 12 and the 3 because we are only going to be using the major arcana. Later on, if you get 
uh, the divine triangle, you can uh, you follow along by starting off with the first number, 57. But for now, keep it simple and just go with the major arcana. So we have 12 and 3. Or you can uh, divide, it's always very good, you must do this to separate the first and last name. Emma is 14, Gonzalez is 43. And then you, you break them down, uh, 14, 5, and uh, 43 reduces to 7. So uh, 14 is 5, 1 plus 4, and uh, 43 is 7. Then you add that up together. 5 plus 7 equals 12, 13. And that's our end number. Now later on, we're going to look at dividing the uh, consonants and the vowels. And you are welcome to do this on your own with a pencil and paper. All of the vowels go on top. Like this would be uh, E is 5. A is 1, which equals 6. So they go on the top is when you're handwriting it. I, and um, all of your consonants, in this case, M and M is 4, and 4 equals 8. You do that here. 6, 1, and 5 are your um, vowels. And I technically you're supposed to write the vowels up here and the consonants down here, consonants, vowel. And it just helps separate them and much better. So here are your vowels, here are your consonants. This starts, this gives you a little deeper look into the person and their karma. Here we have 14, five. 14 is temperance. Temperance is, all these, all these cards are a whole book in themselves and the pictorial helps you understand. Uh, temperance is balance, how, how to keep everything even. Um, sometimes you see this in the makeup of drug addicts, but not always. They just, or you know, somebody with an addiction problem and they always overcome it. The thing is they're trying to balance. That's not particularly true of this car, but it does show you've got to balance things. You have the angel who has one foot in the water, one foot on the land. Balance. Balance between the material and the uh, spiritual or subconscious. And uh, so you have this t symbol of two things to do, choose from. Now 14, 1 plus 4 equals 5. You have... Um, this is five, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is man's religion. There's man's law, then there's man's religion. And this usually gives a religious background of sorts, and it lays the foundation for the personality. You have um, two, I guess you would call them pit bishops, and a pope-like figure, and uh, they're being instructed, but they can also be giving advice. Each one of these cards show um, the need for um, balance. Uh, you have two pillars, two uh, disciples or uh, student priests, and uh, there's choices to be made. Anytime you have two, you've got two choices. Um, the temperance has two choices too, to stay balanced. So to stay balanced with your religion and your spirituality, these two cards alone show a spiritual, a very spiritual nature. Um, this is what Bertnoli comes out to. And my whole life has been um, dictated by my search for my spirituality. Um, and my husband was the same way. That's how I became Italian. <laughs> Buongiorno, it's all. So here we have Gonzales. Gonzales, once again, we're having uh, 12 and 13. And that is, that shows up all over the place in this young woman's chart. Uh, 12 and 13 is the hangman. 
or a good look at the hangman's lap because her whole name comes out to be 12 and 3 and it's really cool how that works. The consonants, this is a vowel, the consonants add up to 31 which can be 14, 4. Now these cards alone will give you problems on um, this is the consonant because you have um, death and uh, that is a big challenge here and Miss Gonzalez unfortunately she said she was going to be a nurse well that's really sweet she has a loving nature that might come from this spirituality over here a caring nature and now she has decided after this god awful uh, incident and she was brought to a famous position in life at such a young age because of death so death is she stands on death and that was what started her her um, whole I guess what would you call it she burst into the scene as a spokesman for a powerful movement and uh, not particularly what she wanted she might have been thinking about what she was going to do that weekend or a term paper those are things you think about not these big these big weighty things now when you look at the um total of the vowels and the consonants you come up with seven these two things equals the tower and the chariot that's number seven the tower is she may have come from a divorce home this is a divorce where she um, has has had things more or less dump her upside down and shake up her world that may be a divorce and it can also be uh, the way her whole life has been shaken by this terrible experience I don't think you forget something like that um, and the chariot this is a very powerful card. It means a lot of things. Note that in the background, our charioteer has castles. So he has good places to live and a good foundation. When you look at the background, it's interesting to see what's there. And um, like the tower, you don't have to figure that one out. But I'm coming with great force and spiritual power, hence the sphinxes is you have but are they going in the same direction that's the problem there's choices here choice choice and choice um, I'm, I'm powerful here I come I just am working so hard to stay d directed but don't get in my way this is the chariot I'm going someplace I have a voice I'm I'm something to deal with however I've coming from brokenness and um, I want to fix that. So Emma comes out to a five, and Gonzalez comes out to a seven. That is a twelve and three. And here is a good look at the twelve and thirteen. Uh, twelve is the hanged man, and it reduces to three the emperor. And this is the heart of the matter. The hangman sees the world from a different viewpoint. Note he is hanging, but he can get down. So he might actually prefer that. He is looking at the world through a different view, an enlightened view. Note the halo. The hangman is usually going to stand off to the side and observe and this is much like a very spiritual person they're just looking and they're like you know they stand apart from the crowd and um, I think that Miss Gonzalez has already defined herself as an extremely unique person with a very unique viewpoint and a very strong one however this is a very peaceful spiritual person this is more the person that wants to um, go off and and do something like for the earth <laughs> or to be a, a nurse to be a caregiver in some way of the earth or to other people 
Now note that 1 plus 2 equals 3. This is the end card for all these numbers, and it is the Empress. And 12-3 um, is the main numbers for this lady, and uh, she wants it, and she does. She hangs out in her Garden of Plenty. Look at the background. Always look at the background with your tarot cards. She is resplendent in a very verdant environment. She has Venus on her little throne and a crown of stars. And so she, and look all around her is greenery. And I do believe that might be water at the, around her as well. But she is surrounded by blush, lush comfort. Look at the, she's on a, um, um, a nice uh, plush throne in her garden of, of plenty. Uh, so she wants peace, beauty. Uh, anybody that's the Empress, they want beauty, kindness, and that kind of thing. They're great at anything. Oh, I dropped my camera. So sorry. It's, when I'm doing this, I have to also pay attention. Hold on one second. This is called technical difficulty. So uh, the uh, Empress wants to be in a peaceful environment. They have beauty. And so that's something that she probably, and also to be a caregiver of the land and people. So. Uh, and she is Miss Venus. So we have, I am very unusual. I look at the world to, um, differently from anybody. And look, and she's got a buzz cut. <laughs> and she says that she's, um, um, gay. And, uh, so she, she definitely already at a young age has said, this is me, deal with me. So, <laughs> That she wasn't headed off into a legal, political uh, world. She, was headed, she said she wanted to be a nurse, which would really be good for her. I really, I really don't see someone with this vibration being um, a lawyer, especially in politics, and where they're you're at, in there duking it, around, duking it out with high-pressured situations. It might be a little too much for this this young soul that just needs peace, quiet, love, beauty. What's wrong with that? Now, I want to show you something that you can use to um, uh, use this on a, a, a quick basis. Because, you know, when you meet somebody, it's really hard to pull out your um, numerology charts and add things up. You'll get very used to it. I have. I start adding things up immediately. I used to have a dear friend when I was learning this numerology, and she said, Well, Sahara, you've always been trying to add things up. And I guess I have. And when I learned this, I learned it well over 20, 20 years ago. Um, the, the hangman and the empress shows up over and over. When you look at the um, addition of her name, Emma Gonzalez, also when you break down, this is very rare, at 12 and 13 show up many times in this equation. And then when you do the initials, E and G, you have um, E, which is 5, and uh, the paraffin. Believe, believe it or not, five is also a number of change and fun, you know, um, and uh, but it's also a uh, religious order. So there's a spiritual clue going on here and uh, respect. Here we have um, the chariot. Once again, look out, here I come. Not sure where I'm going, but just don't get in my way. But also, these two numbers... Five and seven are twelve and three. So what do you have once again? These come up through different ways of they show up, up in several ways. You don't see that very often. But when I meet somebody 
and if they have a really complicated name, um, you know, someone might say, um, this is my friend, uh, Harold Guard Fitzgerald. Okay, what am I going to do with a name like that in my head? I can't. However, I will look right away at the initials. Um, I did Donald Trump's name, and I could see right there this would not be somebody I would want to know. And that was just from the D in Donald. And I don't know if we'll get to, I think I got to that earlier with Marilyn Monroe. Uh, the uh, uh, D, M, and V equals 4. You don't, don't want to mess with those people. And if you end up with that in your name, D, M, or V, you can change it. Unless you're just crazy about your life now way, the way it is, you can change it. Um, so, once again, for the third time, we have E and G. E makes you five and seven. We have the hanged man again. Same thing. And since it shows up three times in her name, in uh, vowels, consonants, um, the end number, which is the most important number, and the initials. You've got to look at this very seriously. Now, believe me, if you do up your name and you don't like it, you can always change it. It is a th something you can change. There's just one thing I learned in doing all this was people don't want to change, that they have come in with their names for a very good reason. And they really react when you say, hey, you know, you don't have to get your leg amputated and die from di diabetes. If you just add an I to your name, well, they won't do it. That, that just that's the absolutely amazed me when I started discovering this. I was like, oh my God, nobody has to suffer anymore. Just do your name, we don't like it, change it. Well, what a surprise I got. People will not do it. Um, I even wrote Anna Nicole Smith a letter a long time ago. I did her name and went, uh-oh. I wrote a letter and said, Dear Miss Smith, change your name right now or else it's really bad for you and your son and your family. Look, poor dear. And she was so lovable, so crazy, but uh, I, I can do crazy. She was delightful. She's gone now. I suppose my, it was easy to say when I write someone and go, a letter and go, she was, <laughs> just name, change your name to um, Fitzgerald. It'll be just fine. They won't do it. Um, usually it just takes a, a simple vowel change, but that's not the important thing. Understanding is, is very important. For Miss Gonzalez, um, something that allows her to go off and do her own thing and be in the garden of plenty, enjoy life, grow things, have pets, lead, lead a life of beauty and peace. Also, spirituality is really important. You've got to really have the time for, to develop certain things in your path. Kind of like me, I absolutely have to um, devote myself to um, things like I do, meditating, astrology, you know, some people, that just doesn't work for them. They just don't like that. But this is Miss Gonzalez. My advice would be, don't forget about nursing. Oh, what's even better is go work in a nursery, grow plants, work with dogs, cats, have a farm. That is real peace and quiet. And, uh, here you are on the national forefront of things, and that's because of your consonants. The consonants kind of tell your story just because you have the death card in the vowels of the consonants of Gonzales. And if you get the divine triangle, these things will be crystal clear to you. These are not hard to learn. You'd be surprised. If you learned your ABCs when you are a kid and learned how to add one, two, three, and learning this is as easy as one, two, three. With that, 
I'll give you a do. And you know what? I have done some predictions with my uh, California uh, friend, Claire. We have predicted all kinds of cool things, including the financial collapse that just happened. We were seeing that a year ago. Um, there's so many things that she saw, I can't even remember them all, and uh, including this experience with Florida. Claire and I kept seeing a, a light over the west, co west coast of Florida. Mind you, I, I am usually on the west coast of in California, and the west coast of Florida, I didn't know why. And I kept mentioning it to Claire. She said, I see it too, a bright light that's going to spread throughout the whole country, the whole world. Enlightenment is going to finally come our way to the west coast of Florida. I wondered, should I move there? It looks so good. I want to be there. And uh, now I know. I mean, I didn't know it was going to be a shooting. I knew it was going to be around this time. And I knew that it was going to be in the west coast of Florida. And I, I was thinking Tampa, St. Petersburg, the more southern cities, uh, Clearwater, I wanted to go there. I didn't know why. And so um, I didn't, but I had to hold myself back. I didn't know why. That was a nice place, but I'm very happy where I am. And, um, uh, and it gives me access to Juneau, Alaska, and Hawaii, and Mexico. So I'm hoping next time I come to you, I will be in Oaxaca. I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit because it is up in the mountains. But there's going to be earthquakes down there. Both Claire and I have predicted many things, including the um, eruption of the previous dormant um, Mount Edna. Um, we, that's been dormant for centuries. Nobody saw this happening except Claire and I. It was the Vatican, Rome, Italy, problems, and most importantly, uh, Vesuvius and Etna. And so poor Italy, pray for them. And even the hair plant, I have great respect for our Pope. So we need, we need to, <laughs> Pope Francis, to be a leader in another way. We need a spiritual voice, a spiritual clue. So with that, if you don't subscribe, well, that's too bad. With the financial advice that Claire has given, you you got to stay tuned because a year ago she was telling you about the stock market changes and what to do. The advice was Whatever you would have done in 2008, do it now because we're going to have another 2008. So whatever you would have done, sold property, just be thinking, I wish I had known back in 2008. Well, guess what? Now you do know. If you don't subscribe, you won't know. And uh, plus, I've got to bring you some more charts. They're really fascinating and charts of the U.S., so there's a lot of wonderful things out there to learn. And I hope that you will sign up and get on board. And don't miss out anymore. You don't want to hear about what, what you should have known a year ago. If only I had known. You, you, sign, you sign up with um, FYI, uh, Sahara YouTube. And uh, if I don't keep you informed, their will. So remember, doing a name is as easy as one, two, three.